Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a first impression slash review, I guess, I think, on the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, mine's already a little dirty because I am shooting this intro after, obviously, I did my eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm doing a first impression slash review on this palette here. This palette got a lot of hype and I didn't know whether or not I was going to like it when I first got it. Um, there was a lot of bright colors in there and... This dog is really going to bark through my intro. There's a lot of bright colors in there and I didn't know whether or not they were going to like pay off properly. When it comes to eyeshadows and colors for on dark skin, sometimes like the color payoff is nothing like straight trash. There were so many different colors in here that I really really wanted to try but I didn't know if like the colors were going to actually pop the way that, that it needed them to pop. If you want to see what I thought about this Jaclyn Hill palette, make sure you keep watching. Alrighty, so here is the palette. So I'm using the shade Mocha and Chip as my transition shades. Next I'm going to go in and go with Jazz. I'm just going to put that into my crease as well. I'm switching brushes now. I'm using this brush here. It's a little bit more precise. And I'm taking Twerk. And I'm just going to pop that on the outer part of my eye. And I am going to do the halo eye thingy. So I'm taking the same brush and I'm going into royalty. And I just want to use that to blend out those edges right there. So I feel like I can get a lot more pigments out of twerk. So I'm going to wet this brush right here. There we go. That's a little better. So now I'm going to go back into Royalty and just make sure we get that purple pop in. So now for the center, I'm taking Cran Apple and I'm just going to pop that right to the center there. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm happy with this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and do a little bit of highlighting on the brow bone using the same palette. Um, yeah, so just a second. And it's all right. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. Um, I'm honestly so impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I am just yeah, it's, it's freaking amazing. Um, it's totally worth all the hype. I didn't expect it to be this good, but I really think it is a really good palette. Um, the colors paid off amazingly. It's definitely dark skin friendly. Like The color payoff is insane, so your eyeshadows are definitely going to pop. You're definitely going to see them. Um, I, pr I felt like I used little to no effort to make sure to make these eye shadows pop on my dark skin. I know a lot of people say, oh, you never really wear color on your channel. You always do like the neutral colors and just, um, what's it called, nude colors. But to be honest, that's because that's just what I'm comfortable with, you know. I really, really love the way this turned out, but I'm just not the crazy colors kind of person. But I really wanted to do it today because this palette had so many colors in it in my opinion that I, I was just like there's no reason why I shouldn't do a colored look um, on my arm here I have a few swatches of um, the palette I couldn't swatch all of them because my sleeves are so long it would be like all over the place but I do have a few swatches this right here is that black um, this is that blue right there 
this is really, I forgot what color this is, but it's like so pigmented. When I swatched it, I was like, oh my gosh. But anyways, this is it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, lots of love, and I'll see you guys next time.